Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and today I have kind of a mini haul that will segue into my next set of reviews. I was able to find on eBay a seller who had all of the Halo Reach um, Anniversary Wave 2 or uh, Universe Wave 2, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, he had them all, uh, the single carded figures and the two and three packs or whatever, the deluxe packs. And uh, I got them all for less than retail, including shipping, so I could not pass that up. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. First up, we got the ODST Mickey figure, which looks really good. I made a custom of him a while ago. And uh, i got to say, uh, I don't know if I like my customer this one better, to be completely honest. But it is still a really solid figure. It's funny how similar it is to the custom, though. Anyway, okay, so we got ODST Mickey. Pretty cool figure overall, though. Real nice looking. Hopefully he doesn't have the rookie button that some of the other ODSTs had. If you know what I mean, then I apologize for the lack of quality control. If you don't know what I mean, then you're lucky and never had to worry about it in the first place. Quick picture on the back shows the different games across the top there, and it shows the UNSC emblem plaque thingy insignia that you can build by collecting all of the pieces. He comes with the little birdie head. Next up, we have the Spartan Mark VI white with the uh, blue accents. Comes with a battle rifle, a frag grenade, and the right wing of the UNSC insignia. This is built on the Halo. 2. I think it's on the Halo 2 body, the uh, larger version of the Master Chief. So there he is. Pretty cool looking. Again, the white figures tend to look a little dirty due to the dry brushing, but still pretty solid looking figure overall. Next up we have Captain Jacob Keys. And of course, McFarlane isn't known for really good head sculpts on their little littler figures. His isn't terrible. I don't know if he's supposed to have the raised eyebrow. But he does. Um, the head sculpt's okay enough. I mean, it looks enough like him to be passable. The details on the chest look really good. We'll get into that in the review. He comes with a little UNSC banner for the insignia, and he comes with a Magnum pistol. I don't know which version that is. I would assume it's the uh, Reach version, since that's the model they used for him based on that image. Next up, we have the package, Master Chief, which if you don't know where this is from, I suppose it could be a misleading term, terminology for the name of the figure, but this is from the Halo DVD, Halo Legends, and this is one of the mini episodes that, or this is the character of Master Chief in one of the mini episodes. He is in more of an anime style set of armor, suit of armor, and I actually really like this sculpt, it looks really cool, and um... Pretty nice figure. Comes with the assault rifle, the frag grenade, and the earth. I think that's the earth technically. I think it's supposed to look like that. It's the uh, sphere that is in the UNSC logo that's down there. I, I do think it's supposed to be the earth personally, but whatever. So really cool looking figure. We'll get into him in the review later. Next up and lastly for the single carded figures, the long awaited Guilty Spark and the Sentinel. Very pleased to finally have these. Really great sculpting. It looks just like him. I'm pretty sure you can rotate that little eyeball piece to turn it red. Uh, I don't know if it mentions that on the back. Uh, I don't see that it does. But I'm pretty sure you can. And then of course you have the Sentinel, which looks really good. It looks to have at least a few points of articulation, so that's nice. It says 15 total moving parts, but I don't know. I don't know how they're actually including that. So we'll see, and it comes with the left wing of the insignia. Kind of a complaint I have right off the bat is they are on stand, so that's cool, but they're connected to the same base. If you see the Halo 3, they both have uh, the rods that connect them to the base. They have the same base, so you can't separate them for a display or something if you were going to do anything other than a very static display. But we'll get into that when we do the specific review. So very happy to have this figure, really cool figure. Next up we have the Spirit of Fire Red Team, which is the group of three Spartans from Halo Wars, most notably recognized from the um, that one cutscene in the game. <coughs> Excuse me. 
The one cutscene where they're fighting on that bridge with all the uh, elite honor guards, I think. Really cool scene, so I had to get this set. Looks like my red team leader has a little bit of a visor malfunction, but I'm pretty sure it's the exact same figure that we got before in the single card, so I don't really mind that. The rest of them are pretty much the exact same figure, just with a couple of little paint touch-ups, or uh, not touch-ups, but changes. You can see he's got the... Uh, can you see that? I think the uh, like that Phoenix logo emblem, and this guy has the skull and crossbones. One comes with the Spartan laser, one comes with two SMGs, and one comes with the shotgun. So really cool set. They're only selling this at the uh, two pack price tag, so it's twenty bucks in the store, twenty two I think, or thirty at Toys R Us. But uh, like I said, I got it for less than retail, so I'm happy about that. And lastly. This was supposed to be in Reach in the Halo Reach line, Series 6, but they ended up releasing it with the Halo Universe line, Series 2, so I got this. It is the Generator Defense Deluxe Pack with the Spartan JFO. I don't know why they chose to make another olive or whatever color green that is JFO, because I'm pretty sure, unless my memory is going, we just got one in Series 5. So, I don't know why we got another. It's a cool enough armor set, and he's got the, uh, I don't know what chest piece that is, but it, I mean, it's a cool figure, but we don't really need another, I don't think. The generator is nice and big, some moving parts, has some little, uh, foot thingies, pedestal things. Take a quick look at the back side, it spins around at the top, and it stands up and stacks like the, uh, when I mean, you can lock it down in the multiplayer and there's a little demonstration of how to put it together and there's the stuff we already reviewed still need to get June and Cat which have incredibly good head sculpts for McFarlane and I need to get the Red Recon I might have those coming already inbound we will see how that goes but uh That'll do it for today's haul. Stay tuned for the reviews for all these figures. I'll try to get them up today, maybe some tomorrow, I don't know. And uh, I'll have some more customs on hopefully this week. I have so many going on, it's taking a little bit longer than normal, but we'll see how that goes too. So stay tuned for all that good stuff, guys, and in the meantime, keep collecting.